bit small. Can I swap with you and Maddie? Uh, I don't think... Uh, we'll talk about that another time. But listen, I was just wondering whether there was any chance that you could look after Ted or Rosie for a bit today. Give Maddie a break. Yeah, yeah, of course. You must be really tired. Yeah, no worries. Oh, thanks. That's great. I tell you what, why don't I take Ted to the cinema? Then she can have a proper rest. Good idea. Thanks, Katie. Yeah, if I'm going to do that, I'll need some money. Uh, right, yeah, I'll get some from... Um... Oh, and I'll need a lift home from the cinema because I've got plans for later. A lift? Yeah, fair enough. And can I borrow your mobile? The, you know, emergencies. Uh, right, emergencies, yeah. Um, yours is? It got nicked. Right, uh, well, don't let anyone nick this one because... I it... don't think you need to worry about that. <laughs> Afternoon, Bruce. I've been shopping. Been improving my marriage and finding out how to be a good parent. By buying lots of presents. No, by buying self-help books. This one will make me a good parent. This one will make me a happy and contented wife. The other one. Making your children listen. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what, Mum? You were right about my tooth. Really? What happened? I had really good luck. All day. Oh, like what? First, during games, the teacher accidentally hit me in the head with the ball and it really hurt. <laughs> Which meant I got to miss the rest of games. Oh. Then, at lunch, I found half a caterpillar in my school dinner. So I showed it to the dinner lady and I got to eat a whole other school dinner. <laughs> and it was liver. <laughs> then later, that big boy in my class threw his chips at me. But then I found this amazing stain remover that removes grease even at low temperatures. Isn't all of that what's commonly known as really bad luck? No. Ted, good luck would be like winning the lottery. Except a shoe lottery, with the prize is all shoes. Yeah, yeah, or, or Dad and Maddie splitting up and then Dad marrying Keira Knightley's mum. Thanks very much. Oh, not again. Mm, who's that? There's this guy I like, and I think he likes me, but whenever I ask if he wants to go out, he says he's working. Oh, right, so he's dedicated and ambitious. That's exactly the sort of bloke you should be going out with. Yeah, he's saving up for a motorbike. Please disregard my last comment. <laughs> so do you think he just doesn't fancy me, or do you think he's just saying he's working because he's... Just telling the truth, that old trick. <laughs> Next time he says it, why don't you just go to where he works? So if he's a... Stalk him, you mean? If you want to give it a label. Yeah. <laughs> Good idea, she doesn't actually that bad living with a complete weirdo. I'm not a weirdo, thank you very much. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to go check the cold rinse my delicates. <laughs> You're lending her your car? I don't think that's a good idea. Nah, uh, nah, that's not fair. I have only had one tiny... Uh, two tiny... Three tiny accidents in your car. And how many times have you been out in it? Twice. Oh, yeah. Uh, perhaps I shouldn't have lent no, it to you after don't listen to her. Your car will be fine. I'm a very good driver. See you later. Bye. <laughs> In here, what are you doing? I, uh, oh, I, I just, uh, I wanted to if we could have a little chat. Oh, that's so nice, but I can't right now. I'm actually going out. There's this top in Top Shop. I thought you were feeling ill. Yeah, uh, I am. I was. I feel a bit better now. It must have just been a morning thing. A morning <laughs> thing, right? Okay, good. Um, Katie, um, we're, we're close, aren't we? Yeah, <laughs> we get on. Definitely, yeah. We're like, we're like friends, really, aren't we? Not friends, exactly. <laughs> Sisters, then? That would be impossible. <laughs> no, we're, we're like, we're like, well, what are we like? You're like my dad's wife. Yes, yes, I am. Yes, and, and therefore, you can tell me anything. Anything at all. Go on. Try me. <laughs> I'm going to Topshop. <laughs> no, no, I, I knew that. <laughs> Something more personal. I've never really liked your hair. <laughs> no, no, I didn't actually mean that. Let's Why not? What's wrong with it? Oh, it's just a personal thing. I... Oh, right, like, yeah, no, I, I didn't actually mean that. What, what, I, what I meant, what I mean is, are you in trouble? Trouble? Why? Why? Who said what? No, no one said anything. But well, they must have done. So you are in trouble then. 
Yeah, and I'm really sorry. I just didn't think. Oh, it was a spur of the moment thing. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, just, just stay calm. Short, shallow breath. That's labour. Just hold your breath. That's hiccups. And so just blow through your mouth like a zzz. That's a kazoo. No, just stay, stay calm. Don't panic. I, I'm not. Good. Okay. Good. Well, um, I suppose you better start by telling me his name. Whose name? Mr. Simpson. <laughs> Mr. Is a Mr. Mr. Simpson. Is it Mr. Simpson? Is he geography? No, he's a rabbit. A rabbit. <laughs> I don't think you're quite following my drift. Who got you in trouble? Well, I suppose it was the headmaster. The headmaster got you pregnant! Oh, what? Nothing. You think I'm pregnant? No. Yes, a bit. Why? Maddie, I'm not pregnant. What are you talking about then? Oh, let's not worry about that. Let's just both enjoy the fact that I'm not pregnant. Yes! Yes, absolutely. Oh, thank goodness. Phew! <laughs> so, so, if... if if this isn't yours, who does it belong to then? Oh, well, maybe, maybe Danny got it for Grace. <laughs> God, what's happened here? I tidied up a bit. Which bit? You can barely get in. Oh, you... Thanks. Mum, do you want this? Oh, okay. I need it back for Danny's room. Yep. <laughs> wow, look at that. I didn't know I had a rug. Do you know? should give some of this to the charity shop. You're right, I mean, I definitely don't need these manky old pyjamas for a start. Yeah, they're mine. <laughs> right, a uh, bit of floor space. Do you want me to do that? No, no, you're fine, you're fine. Are <laughs> <laughs> you sure you don't want me to? It's fine. Can I at least plug the pump into the mattress? <laughs> come on, my baby, come on, my baby. Oh, no. Oh. There. I might join you if I can't get that bed pumped up. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Good <laughs> 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 night, Maddie. Oh, this broccoli's horrible. Thanks, Chad. I think it's nice. Yeah, me too. Really? <laughs> broccoli may seem horrible, but... At least it's trying and it's got your best interests at heart. <laughs> I think I prefer peas. Yeah, whatever. Like, we care what you think. <laughs> yeah, jackass. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying sometimes I feel like a change. That is so typical. Oh, men. <laughs> Sorry, is that so wrong? Yes. Well, Maddie doesn't mind. She knows I like a bit of variety. <laughs> Besides, the, the broccoli's a bit past its best. <laughs> You're so fickle. Do you know what? That broccoli has given you the best years of its life. <laughs> all right, all right. Maybe one day I'll go back to broccoli. <laughs> Maybe broccoli won't have you back. <laughs> Look, I'm willing to have it as one of my five a day, OK? Just ignore you... him. I really like your hair. Me, my, my, my hair, mine? Yeah, I love the way it's all... Ah! <laughs> Me too. How are you, by the way? Yes, how are you? Me? I, th I thought it was just annoying. Oh, you are. Don't get me wrong, you are annoying, but you're not the most annoying person in the world. Oh, well, that's so sweet. And you're really embarrassing, but, yeah, we can live with it. Oh, oh that, that's really... That, that's, and that's... looks-wise, you're a bit of a minger, but you're not totally... <laughs> We don't want you and Dad to split up. We're not going to split up. I saw you kissing another woman. And so did I. I was being polite. <laughs> don't worry, but that was all just a misunderstanding. Really? Yes, it was all her. She kissed me. It was a mistake. That's what you said about Maddie. <laughs> no, no, but this is different. I don't fancy Amanda. But you let her kiss you. But I didn't let her, I just... Right, you, outside, now. No, it's all right, Ted, Ted, Ted. You don't 
ready to do this. All right. But I'm watching you. But Dad, why didn't you just tell her you weren't interested? I did, but she wouldn't listen. She's besotted. It's my animal magnetism. <laughs> going to get rid of her. She keeps writing messages on my wall. Really rude messages. Let's just change your Facebook status to dead. <laughs> or move house. It won't work. She's not going to take no for an answer. Have you reminded her that you are married to a rather beautiful woman who bears grudges? <laughs> yes, yes, I have. And she says that she, she doesn't care. She just wants some fun, a fling, no strings. Oh, oh she does. Does she? Two people eating the meal. Hi, Bobby, um, how are you? Excellent, thanks. Yeah. Dad, Maddie, I'm collecting the money for the rhinos in Africa. Oh, right. Right, how far did you run? I didn't actually get to run in the end. Maybe you bought new trainers and everything. Well, actually, I didn't, because there were these gold strappy sandals I just so fell in love with, so I got those instead. Yeah, and you can't go running in gold strappy sandals. No, exactly my point, but I'm still totally committed to raising money for rhinos in Africa, so instead I ate chocolate peanuts. You ate chocolate peanuts? Yeah, loads of them. <sighs> Good for you. So, you said £5 per mile, so £5 per unit, shall we say. So that makes it... £1,595. <laughs> 1,600 quid. So you're saving the rhinos and then sending them on a skiing holiday? I don't seem to have 1,600 quid on me. So why don't I just give you whatever I've got in my pockets? Uh, there you go. There's £2.53, a tissue and, ooh, a furry cough sweet. <laughs> Actually, I will give you a fiver if you eat that. <laughs> Clutch, clutch, I said, take your foot off the clutch. Don't get impatient. I am not getting impatient. Okay. So let's, uh, let's just start again, and this time, listen to what I say. Do listen. So, mirror, signal. I said, mirror, signal. Mirror. <laughs> Signal. Select first gear and... Is that meant to happen? Yes, yes, that's perfectly normal. <laughs> OK, let's try something else. <laughs> this is much better. Yeah, I'm driving! Faster! Oh, faster! Faster! Oh, I can't! Ooh, hang on, Dad. Slow down. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Come on, then, jump in. What's going on? Oh, um, I said I'd take them to Tom's shop. What? It's not far. It's just up that hill. Hey, Ted. Hey, Rosie. Oh, my word, you will not believe the day I've had. Work experience with Alison Weaver, uh, let me guess, a boring, stressful? It was brilliant. Sorry? I am so becoming a counsellor. It's the coolest job in the world ever. Firstly, they have these amazing leather sofas and one of the counsellors looks like Robert Pattinson. <laughs> well, that's just what you need if you're depressed, mm -hmm. a really good-looking vampire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and secondly, I realised I basically am a counsellor already. Right. Because mm -hmm. when you think about it, I've got this amazing natural empathy with people. I've basically been counselling people for years. <laughs> Give me counselling or criticising? Mm. My insights are just as good as Mrs Weaver's. She's trained, but I'm more instinctive. I've had to put her right a couple of times already. <laughs> Annoying as Alison Weaver is, I don't think you should be telling a professional how to do their job on your first day. <laughs> I think she's threatened by me. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> so, don't worry, I'll go around and see her. I'll, I'll set it all straight. No, don't you dare! This is my work experience. I'm perfectly capable of looking after myself. You know your badges on upside down. <laughs> Look, Maddie, I understand what you're trying to do. You're concerned, anxious. You feel responsible and have a highly developed urge to protect me. Well, yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. And these are all strong, positive feelings, and they lead you to start interfering. <laughs> and that's what we call dialoguing. Thanks, Maddie. I owe you. What for? But you must let me humiliate you in front of someone you're trying to impress. Sorry, Danny, I didn't 
Don't realise. It took realize. me three months to plug up the courage to ask her out, and you blow it in three seconds. Mm. You shouldn't feel angry. It's a misplaced sense of threat. She's well-intentioned, but she can't help being forceful. <laughs> Hello, I'm still here. Look, Maddie, I know you mean well, and I appreciate that, really, but in future, please just keep out of it. OK, everyone, I want you to give me your honest opinion. <laughs> here is a macchiato, a triple espresso and a mochaccino. Now, the, the espresso and the macchiato are basically heavily espresso based. Uh, one is really just uh, an extension of the other. And if you see here, there's tiny bubbles in the top there of the espresso. That's called the crema. And that shows you that that is a sign of a really good espresso. Jim. Now, the mochaccino is it's just a bit of fun, really. It's not something the connoisseur would drink. It's something for the kids, if you will. Uh, yes. Did I say yes. Are you all right? Yes, yes. I'm fine. I'm fine. Actually, I am a bit tired, but I'm not sleepy tired, I'm kind of you know, wide awake tired, which is a bit odd, but still, I'm sure it's nothing that a triple espresso won't put right. <laughs> Who cares about the cat? There is a pigeon dying here. But could he hurry up about it? No! All he needs is some tender loving care, plus one or two tiny essentials. Straw, feeding bowl, bird seed, splint for a wonky claw, <laughs> pipette, trill, cuttlefish, mirror, lipstick. Lipstick? Oh, could you look pretty if he wants to? That's for me. I finished my breakfast. That'll be two pounds. It's a list of things for Danny to do for money. Thanks. Let's see, 50p for making his bed, two pounds tidying his bedroom. 50p for saying good morning, you're looking well today. Good morning, you're looking well today. Thanks. Do I get 50p for saying good morning, you're looking well today? No, you do it anyway. Well, so I'm being penalised for being nice? Yeah. Let that be a lesson to you. So, how can I help? Well, it's a bit embarrassing, actually, but I need your advice about the way I look. Is there any way that you can make me more youthful and trendy? Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I've been waiting ages for this. <laughs> What's that? Your file. <laughs> so, I've been compiling a few thoughts for you. Now, the basics shouldn't take long. Eye job, nose job, lip job, chin tuck, boob lift, face lift, tummy tuck, and then Botox. Great, there should be enough bits of me left over to make a little handbag. <laughs> a big handbag. A little match. It's perfect. Look, can't we achieve the same sort of effect with, you know, say, a new T-shirt and low lighting? No lighting? <laughs> no, no lighting. Look, if you really want to skip the surgery, we do have other natural alternatives. Yep, let's do those. So we start with the basics, uh, fitness, diet and obviously hair. Uh, then we'll move to phase two, a dedicated programme of clubbing, gigging and partying. <laughs> so what should we go for? New wave goth or out of control girl band? How about slightly younger than ex-husband's new girlfriend? <laughs> What are you doing? Nothing. Danny, have you got any money? Because we need to borrow some as a matter of urgency. What for? To buy a mongoose. <laughs> to buy a what? A mongoose. You know, small carnivorous mammals that... No, it's a shape, doesn't it? It was your fault. You took so long about touching it, the lid was off for all that time. Must have just snuck out. Please help us find it. No, no way. Or else I'll tell Mum how to search your browser history on your computer. Right, let's get organised. <laughs> Wait, maybe we shouldn't find the snake because the snake would be happier living free and in the wild. It's used to living in a jungle, not a hostile environment like this. Yeah, well, I'm totally against animals being held in captivity. But you love zoos. Yeah, because they're fun and the penguins are really cute. <laughs> and in captivity. What is the point of going to the trouble of having an opinion if other people are going to have different opinions? It's so annoying. So, um, where are you going? Uh, near Mount Ararat. Where's that? It's the kebab shop up by the waste ground. <laughs> Geography field trip. We're staying in the car park for a whole week. It's going to be brilliant. And did you get the sleeping bag, the ground sheet, the boots? No, I spent all the money on the coat. <laughs> you spent 200... <laughs> you spent all that money on a coat? It's a survival kit. Oh, hey, hang on a minute. He's been given money to buy clothes. 
Can I have money to spend on clothes? I'm not going camping. No, but I am going to Emily's party. Yes, that's true, and it's a much more hostile environment. <laughs> yeah, but you've got like a million clothes already. I have not. No, I'm half a million. Is it, why don't you get something to go with one of the outfits you've already got? Like what? I don't know, a necklace or a hairband or one of those things that goes around your a arm. A tattoo? Like, no, 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 I mean one of those metal things that goes yeah, around yeah, your Yeah, yeah, a tattoo. Brilliant idea. That is so cool. Thanks, Maddie. <gasps> oh, I'm going to call Emily. Ah! Hey, Mark, what are you doing here? Came to see you. <laughs> and uh, also apparently not all the wasps are dead yet. Oh, look, I just understand. How can you? How can you kill innocent animals? I don't kill them. I control them. <laughs> There's a difference. Hmm. I see. So, how do you control a wasp? Gas it. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and how do you control a rat? Poison it. <laughs> and how do you control a mouse? Break its neck. <laughs> <laughs> It's so, in many ways, the words pest control means the killing, murdering and slaughtering of tiny little innocent creatures. Yeah, but that wouldn't fit down the side of my van. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't do this. I can't be with someone who does that as their job. What do you mean? You have a choice. Me or the job. Are you serious? Totally. So, what's it to be? Well, I guess I'd have to say, um... The job? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the job. Fine. Well, good. I'm glad. But I don't want to see you ever, ever again. Ah, right, you won't. <laughs> Except for tomorrow, <laughs> when I've got to come back and finish here. <laughs> <laughs> and just what time do you call this young lady? Quarter past eight. Have you been stood there waiting for me? And have you had a good time with my girlfriend? She's not your girlfriend. Although we did talk about you, actually. Really? What did she say? Does she like me? Yeah, she thought you were cute in a kind of non-threatening, immature way. Yes. But that was before we talked. You told her lies about me? No, worse than that, I told her true things about you. Oh, God. The poor hygiene, the publications stashed under your bed. I think it was possibly the puddle drinking that sealed it. That was a one-off due to peer pressure? If you say so. That's so shallow. I don't think she really cared how deep... A lot of a puddle, you numpty. Your behaviour. Oh, sorry. Katie, Katie, you've got lots of friends. Are any of the men in their mid-forties by any chance? I mean, obviously, I hope they're not, but, but if they were, now would be a great time to tell me. <laughs> sorry to disappoint you, Maddie. Katie, Katie, what exactly is your prize giving? I mean, your dad wants to come along. No. Oh. No, 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 you don't need to do that. No, we want to. We want to support you. You do? Yeah, totally. I feel totally supported. There's absolutely no need for you to come. No, we'd like to. There's not a lot of point, because I'm uh, thinking of turning the prize down. Why? <laughs> because I'm not sure I uh, believe in prizes. I think maybe they're morally wrong. What do you mean? Not for me. The prize is the gift of giving. Trophies are just elitist and divisive. Mm. Yes, and lovely and shiny, too. <laughs> people who do well all the time. It's not fair. Somebody should do something for the people who come bottom. Well, we are. We're giving him £75, apparently. <laughs> ben again. Did we split up? Nope. He wouldn't chuck me. Why not? I don't know. I tried. I really tried. I was difficult. I was demanding. I argued. I disagreed with him. And? He didn't seem to notice a difference. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you need more advice? She needs more advice. I'm going to give her more advice, Danny. <laughs> what you should do is tell him that you're moving house. Tell him you're moving abroad to Kazakhstan. Is that a real place? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Tell him you're going to be living in a nomadic yak-based community and that you are renouncing all post-yak technology so you won't be able to write or phone. Wow, thanks, man. You're quite good at this. That's true. Still on hold. Oh, we have to do something. It's urgent. Scarlet Nation have added an extra date. The tickets go on sale in ten minutes. We're going to have to go somewhere and borrow someone's internet connection. I know. School? Closed. Library? Shut down. Are you sure we can't nick the weavers? Yeah, I've tried it. Weaver net, but we need a password. Adam says his dad's paranoid about getting hacked. <sighs> yeah, but I'm pretty sure Adam set the password. Which means it'll be Adam. Exactly. It's pretty much the only word he can spell. <laughs> We're online. Oh, quick, the ticket's out. I've got less than ten minutes until the tickets go on sale. 
All yours? Ah, <sighs> OK, front row, mosh pit, here we come. There's a message. What does it say? It's from WeaverNet. Warning, the appropriation of a wireless internet connection is an illegal action in direct contravention of the Digital Privacy Act of 2010. Click ignore. <laughs> As a result, the connection will be terminated with immediate effect. Oh. What's happened? The connection's been terminated. Brilliant. I don't think my life could get any worse. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think I've got Rosie's cold.